Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to stop the character uh, moving while the attack is performed. So as you can see in this screen or demonstration, when I run and while I run in, if I press the attack button, it will stop moving and perform the attack and after the attacking is done it will continue to move like this all right so let's get started first thing i'm going to do is uh, i'll open my main human character and this is the uh, interface which implemented by this human character i'll open that and here under movement i'll add a new function called toggle movement so i'll make a new input here enable or disable so depend if it is true i'm going to enable movement otherwise i disable movements so right so in here in order to disable movements or enable movements i'm talking only about this uh, only about movement i need only to prevent character moving while attacking so but i still need to be able to look around therefore i can't disable into input altogether i only have to i only want to disable movement part only so here i'll add a branch and here as well and i'll promote this to a variable i'll call it movement enabled now i'll call it can move that's better and i put the same one here can move and i'll to make this a little clear i'll create this category called movement so that it is easy to find where the variables are right and I'll put this one under fight everything related to fighting will be stored in this section right now I need to determine where should this movement be enabled and disabled so I'll open my these are my animation montages this three so I'll open each of them and Here I'll add a notify called enable sorry disable moment and After this part, I'll add a new notify called enable moment. Right. So
Well, we are dead. What happened to my notify? Okay, I'll add it again in a well moment. Here. Similarly, I'll open my other attack montages as well <gasps> and at that same disable moment and enable moment events or notifiers in this one as well. Disable moment and somewhere here enable moments right now everything is done in the montages and here in the BPA animation I have to access those notifiers I just created so here enable yeah enable movement and disable mo movement okay now i'll get this character and using that interface method i just created i'll toggle movement like this i'll call my character like this so this is enable moment so i should make this enable and this is disable moment so i'll make it false right now i think it should work fine let's see so i'm going to attack while the character is moving like this wait it seems i haven't enabled moment where did i implement these methods Did I implement those method? Toggle move. Ah, yeah, I haven't implemented them yet. So yeah, I'll implement them and uh, here because it is better to keep everything together related to movement. Moment, and I'm going to set this variable can move with this one, right? And I have to make this initial value of this one to true, okay? So let's see. why it doesn't move it let me check okay so the problem is even if i set the default value of this one here to true in my player class which implements or uh, extended from this ch human and this has become false so when i fix this this character should be able to move right so while i'm running i'll add I'll try to attack okay so it stopped moving or it stopped running when the attack is performed and it starts moving once after attacking is done all right so okay so that's what I wanted to show you for this episode 
and in the next episode i'll work i'll work a little more on blending these uh, attacks with the movements uh, to make it a little more interesting all right see you in the next video goodbye